Hey guys, Tyson here. Just gonna do a quick walkthrough on this, the new Maverick Sport 1000R. It's quite the cool little unit. It's got the XMR package, which comes with the snorkel and the skid plates and all that stuff. It's got fender flares here to kind of keep the mud out, as well as a full half door. A lot of the units come with the doors kind of cut, cut right in here. But since this is the mud mud edition, it's it's got the full half doors. It keeps you somewhat clean. This is our demo unit, so we put on a half windshield and a, a roof on it, which does not come from factory. Uh, it's got 30 inch. ITP cryptid tires on a 14 inch rim and it's snorkel and the one thing I like about this snorkel system is it's got four snorkels and one of them is a, is your obviously your engine intake um, your belt intake and the biggest thing is the uh, belt exhaust which I know some of the other manufacturers do not have that the, some of them are, are right here is where the exhaust so you could still it's lower than the actual snorkel system itself this comes with Fox Podium 2.5s with the QS3 edition. So with these shocks, the nice thing about it, it's kind of dummy proof. Um, you got soft, medium, and hard, really. So you're gonna go, you're gonna ride like a, kind of a bat out of hell, you know, firm it up. You wanna take the wife for a nice plush ride, soften it up. Simple and it's easy to do. There's no no dinking around with it. Um, the, the bed here will hold 300, 300 pounds. Uh, so basically a cooler for a, for a picnic or something like that. It's got 100 horsepower and it's a 97 or 976 cc motor in it. It's got dual 220 millimeter vented disc brakes. So there's lots of stopping power in there. The dry weight of it is roughly 1,614 pounds. So it's it's a little little on the heavy side. It's got a Rocks approved profiled cage, so it's actually a certified road cage, so it's very safe. It also comes with a 4,500 pound winch. Now, that's the only thing I know when with these side by sides, they, they weigh quite a bit, of, they're, they're quite quite heavy. And if you if you take them in the mud, especially in the muskeg around here, um, there's a lot of suction that, that'll suck you down. And I think I think going with a bigger size winch might not have been a bad idea. I know no other manufacturer has done that, but. It's, you know, can -Am's usually a step ahead, so I'm kind of waiting on them to get a, a bigger winch. It is a super winch. It also comes with the LED lights here. The can -Am LED lights. It's a sharp looking unit, it really is. It's 10 feet, two inches long, five feet, four inches wide, and six feet, two and a quarter inches tall. So those of you guys who are putting them in a enclosed trailer, that's, those are the lengths. I know that's a big concern with a lot of people. It's, uh, you know, if it doesn't fit in the trailer, well then you need a new trailer and the cost just keeps going up and up and up. It holds 38 liters of fuel in it and it can tow 1,500 pounds and it comes with a two inch receiver. Now we'll go to the inside here. It's got tilt steering which is awesome. I think it's almost a necessity in everything. And it has a 7.6 inch digital display, which is, I think, a super nice feature. Here's your headlights here on the left side, off, low beams and high beams. Your winch control is right here. You can see that right there, the winch control. Your key is obviously right here. Now this is your two by four, your four by four, and your front diff lock. Now it's a smart lock te technology. So basically there's a whole bunch of sensors in there that tells the uh, tells unit how much torque is getting to the front tires, um, which tires are slipping, and it engages them as needed and, and appropriately. And you also have your mud, your mud and your trail. Um, this is your trip menu, menu obviously for your, for your digital display, so that's how you can go through your menu. And your sport and your eco mode. And your sport and your eco mode is just basically full power, no power kind of deal. It's part of the electronic throttle control. Now this this one here, this unit here does not come with the with the gray key and the green key. 
So unfortunately, if you want your buddies to ride it, they have the full 100 horsepower all the time. So it does have a glove compartment right up here, as well as a glove box here, and a tool kit down in there you can see. Has a cup holder down here, by your, right down here, which is kind of a funny place, as well as right there. But there is two, which is nice to have a cup holder. And then of course your holy crap handle, grab bar, right there, and as well as on the door here for your passenger. Seat belt's just a normal seat belt. There's no, no five point harness or anything like that. It's just a normal seat belt. But yeah, that's the unit. Hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe.